Morning, Strawberry, and a very beautiful one it is. <laughs> right as raspberries. Huh? Wow. Looks like the marketplace is off to a great start. This is going to be wonderful. Oh, I just hope it's quick. Remember, two weeks, two weeks. My next crop of very bitty produce will be ready to harvest in just two weeks. This marketplace has got to go up, 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 or there won't be any place to put my peaches. Lay out my lemons, keep my carrots. We're doing the best we can. Everybody calm down. I know the deadline is tight, but I've worked out a schedule. If we follow this, we'll be finished in two weeks. No problem. We can do that. No Consider problem. Consider it done. Don't worry, Barry Kim Bloom. We'll be ready when you are. Oh, thank you, thank you. Gotta get back to caring for my corn, pruning my peas, weeding my watermelons, nurturing my nectarines. Oh. Well then, you have all your materials? Well, I could use those designs for your apartment on the second floor. Oh, I'll get to those today. And maybe some, oh, watch it, extra hands to help put up the frame this afternoon. Hmm, I'll round up the girls, see if they can spare a couple of hours after lunch. Thank you, Strawberry. Oh, Plum! Ugh. Oh. Plum? On vacation? I didn't know she was going on vacation. Lemon has gone traveling? Oh. Orange's store is closed. Please come back another time. Gone fishing? Blueberry's never been fishing in her life. Oh, muffin crumbs. This is awfully odd. <laughs> Come on, Custard. <laughs> this isn't playtime, huh? Cupcake, please. I have work to do. <laughs> <laughs> so, what do you think of this for my dream bedroom, Custard? Huh? Oh, you're right! There's something I forgot. I've always wanted a little shelf behind my bed. You know, to keep a glass of water, a book, and my phone. Oh, and my dream bedroom would have a skylight above the bed. Oh. I would wish on shooting stars as I drift off to sleep. And built-in drawers with the smallest drawer on top for socks and tights, and the largest drawer on the bottom for, you know, my sweaters. <gasps> no, what, uh, what? What about your vacation and your travels and uh, fishing? Vacation? Pickled pineapples. Have you flipped your flop We've yes? got a marketplace to build. Hold on, but you, you closed your stores so... <laughs> <laughs> so we can help you, silly. You... You did that for me? Of course! Well, you want to help? Me too. That's what friends are for. for. Why don't we head over to the building site and get started? have it mostly under control, but they do need extra hands to put up the frame. How exciting! Putting up the frame! And after that, what can we do? Yes, what can we do? Strawberry, we won't be ready to put up the frame until after lunch, but may I show you the grout colors for the tiles? Uh, sure, um, just, uh... We can help. I'm great at grout. I'm a perfect painter. I could alphabetize supplies. And could you confirm the height of the fruit stall, Strawberry? 
sure, I... Oh, are those the plans for the upstairs apartment? Oh, uh, not quite finished yet, Barry Kimbell. <gasps> the upstairs apartment? We'll work on that. That'll be our project. Oh, uh, really? Um, oh, okay. That'd be a big help, sure. But I haven't finished the, um, designs. We know what you love, Strawberry. Yeah, you want a skylight, right? How did you know that? Don't worry, Strawberry. We'll run every idea by you. What do you say? Well, all right. That's so nice of you to offer. Our pleasure. Come on, girls, let's get going. <laughs> Great bloomin' butter beans! You aren't supposed to be ripe yet. I told Strawberry two weeks! Oh no, no, the marketplace isn't ready yet. There's no place to put all of you until it's finished. What will I do? Oh no, oh no, oh no! Oh no, oh no, oh no! Oh, no. Oh, oh, oh. Water bottles. Oh, I've got to find some place to hide the stuff before Strawberry finds out. Ooh. But where will she put her books? She can come here to read. I'll find a place. Hey, I'm hearing a creaking sound. Oh, the only thing I hear is the pitiful wails of my poor ideas as they're shot down. Guess I'm just hearing things. She'll need a vanity for doing her hair. Like I said, there isn't room. Where will she put all her scarves? There could be a shelf in the wardrobe. One can't have too many books. Okay, so we all agree we want Strawberry's bedroom to have a special scent. Absolutely! But as far as the other ideas, Blueberry wants built-in bookshelves. Lemon believes a vanity is a must. Plum, you want her to have a dance bar. Which will take an entire wall. But where will she do her morning stretching? In your big wardrobe that'll take up half the room? Hey, just saying. Now, we promised we would run our plans past Strawberry. So tomorrow, let's each present our ideas and let her decide. What you think? Brilliant! Great idea. Perfect. Why didn't I think of that? Terrific. Well, then, meeting adjourned. So, who's for tea? Oh, I am, thanks. Blueberry? Um, do you have any raspberry? I'll take lemon. Mmm, orange. Plum, please. Nothing tops plum tea. As long as it has a squeeze of lemon. <laughs> Nah, I'm still just hearing things. Oh! <laughs> oh! Oh well, if life gives you pineapples, make pineapple. Um, pineapple. Oh, pineapple upside down and sideways cake. Woodsy for Strawberry's bedroom. Need more floral. Ah! <gasps> I'm not just hearing things. Now I'm seeing things. <laughs> uh, onions? Uh, How would these get in there?
of humorous short stories, fiction, by Patsy Von Schlagopeck. That's certainly an unwieldy name. Uh, what does unwieldy mean, Blueberry? It means difficult to handle, maybe because of size or shape. Like that armoire and vanity? Huh? But, but, she has to have an armoire. But she has to have a vanity. I know, it's just that you left me the smallest wall for my ballet bar. But it's perfect, Plum. It is? Well, I was thinking, do you think I could use the bar to hang some silky scarves on just to show Strawberry what else she could use it for? Okay, girls, I've got it! The perfect scent for Strawberry's dream bedroom. Uh, but wait! I've got the perfect scent. Here's mine. What about my perfume? But Strawberry said she loved my orange aura room fragrance. <laughs> she said she absolutely adored my plumicious pleasing perfume. She definitely okayed my Berry Bonnie Blueberry Bedroom Beautifier. But she okayed my Luscious Lemon Home Aromaizer! Hey! There's orange aura stuck to my vanity. It was supposed to be lemony light white. It's okay, Lemon. You know, orange really goes better with my bedspread palette anyway. <gasps> Nice, Blueberry. Thank you. I can't smell my fragrance. Oh, no. What have we done? Ugh. It's getting a little powerful in here. Let's take a break. Break? Let's evacuate. Give it a chance to unscent. Let me out of here. Yeah. Hi, Barrick in Bloom. Looking forward to that big harvest in two weeks, huh? <laughs> We're right on schedule. Oh, Barry and Bill, I was thinking, what a shame. What a very big shame. What do you mean? Well, it's just if the marketplace could be finished by, oh, let's say, tomorrow, I could submit a photo of it to Better Berry Bidding Buildings Digest for their Best Built Bidding Building of the Year Award. You would be a shoe in the Best Built Bitty Building Award? Whoa. Well, that's bigger than the Plasterer Prize and the Tyler's Trophy put together. Winning that would be such an honor for the crew. And for the construction boss in charge. All right, Berrykins, listen up. We have a little change in schedule. And you're gonna love it. <laughs> Kiwi fruit, none finer. Now, just stay there until tomorrow and you'll have your very own display in the marketplace. Wow! It's almost all done. Strawberry, looking great, huh? We're down to the wire. But you don't have to work so hard. You're way ahead of schedule. Oh, nothing doing, Strawberry. 
We're going for the gold. <gasps> Wait! I brought you all some pineapple upside down. Strawberry? Are you ready, Strawberry? Ready for what? Wait and see. <laughs> okay. Just a few more steps. Almost there. <laughs> yeah! <laughs> Just love it! Wow, it's, uh, incredible. Oh, what a pretty bedspread. <laughs> and I love having a book. I mean, lots of books right by the bed. And what a great vanity. I never would have thought of that. <laughs> Well, I guess I'll have to get more outfits to fit in this wardrobe. <laughs> oh, what an original lampshade. Orange made it. Oh, and your exercise bar, Plum. I'll be sure to get my exercise first thing. And what an unusual room fragrance. Which fragrance do you like best? All I smell is kiwi, which is quite, uh, refreshing. Kiwi? Hmm. What's the matter, Strawberry? Oh, you didn't change your mind about this skylight, did you? Oh, because we can get rid of it. Or move it. Oh, no. It's just you've all done so much work for me. Of course, Strawberry. Anything to make you happy. Well, we'll leave you to enjoy. Strawberry. I put them there. I just didn't want to let anyone down. How would you let us down? I was wrong about the harvest. It won't be ready in two weeks. Well, that's okay. We can wait. It's ready now. No problem. We can now? <gasps> Colliding kiwis. We'd better get busy. This marketplace has to be open tomorrow. We're on it. Now let's get a move on. Clean up these kiwis. We're going to have this place ready at dawn. Good evening, Princess Berrykin. And what an evening it is. I heard about Berrykin Bloom's early harvest. Is there anything I could do to help? Oh, thank you, Princess. You could help me take these sandwiches over to the marketplace for the night crew. If only Berrykin Bloom could have expressed his needs from the start. Yes, but he was afraid to disappoint and... Oh, um, before you go, perhaps you could help me by eating some pineapple upside down and sideways cake. Oh, I am sorry, but I don't care for pineapple. But knowing you did something so thoughtful is sweets enough. That was a very gracious way to be honest, Princess. Hmm, I better call the girls over here for a pineapple party. Lovely idea. <laughs>
like I dreamed. Oh, Strawberry, we're so happy you got your dream bedroom. I'm sorry I didn't tell you before what I wanted. Well, we're glad you finally did. Really? Absolutely. It's your bedroom. We just want you to be happy in it. I am. I really am. Uh, we forgot something. Oh, uh, another room fragrance? Maybe... Oh, strawberry scent. <laughs> Perfect. <laughs> A place to put down your ideas for the Marketplace's grand opening celebration. <gasps> oh, muffin crumbs! I forgot about the grand opening! Custard, cupcake, it's gonna be a long night. is in charge of the Wanderberry hunt. And you're the Berry Fest princess this year, so you tell us where to look. Lead on, oh fearless leader! <laughs> Very well, faithful berry hunters! As your most leaderly leader, I hereby decree we look... Hmm, um, how about over that way? Begging the princess's pardon, but the really amazing plants grow over by the creek. I bet it's that way. I read somewhere that Wanderberries like shade. I say we check under those tall flowers. <laughs> I'm so sure we'll find it hiding in there somewhere. Wanderberries need sun. It's gotta be over there. <laughs> Guess they all had their own ideas, huh? I have a feeling we'll find it over here. Just a hunch, but that's what my heart's telling me. Come on, you two. <laughs> okay, Custard, Popcake. Keep your eyes open. Only one Wanderberry plant grows at a time. And it could be anywhere. Could be right under our noses. <laughs> oh! <laughs> There it is. The one and only, one of a kind, <gasps> Wanderberry. Oh, isn't it the most very beautiful thing you've ever seen? Careful, Pupcake. This berry is going to be our dessert at the Berry Fest feast tomorrow. Are you all right, Mary Kim Blue? Uh, uh, yes, uh, thank you, Miss Shortcake. Uh, had a little stumble, took a little tumble, as I was looking for. <sighs> but you found it. Oh, my, 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 yes, yes, yes. A fine specimen this year. About the biggest I've ever seen. Oh, the color 
were so rich, the shape just so... the texture... oh, amazing! Oh, and the aroma... oh, yes! Perfect in every way! Oh, Custard, no. Yes, Pet, we must take care. There is but one of these delicious, nutritious berries at any given time. And how fitting that you, our new Berry Fest princess, should have found it. Found it? Found it? Who found it? Strawberry! Strawberry found it! <laughs> Look at it! Isn't it something? Unbelievable! It's incredible! Now, now, you know the tradition. It's the Berry Fest Princess who plucks the berry. Oh, I knew that. Didn't you know that? I wanted yeah, to see yeah, if you yeah, sure. yeah. huh? Princess Strawberry? I'd be honored. Mm. Oh, harder! You can do it! Come on, Strawberry! Give it a good shake! Oh, that's it! Uh. Oh, look! There it goes! At this moment, a new Wanderberry is springing up somewhere. Could it be here, or there, or there? We never ever know quite where. This thing's pretty heavy. It's gonna take all of us working together to get it back. Is everyone ready? Ready! Uh, Miss Shortcake? What's the matter? Did you hear that? Uh, I didn't hear anything. Me neither. Me neither either. But listen. Very close. Oh, there it is again. How very beautiful. Oh, quite a lovely sound. I still don't hear anything. I hear my stomach growling. Oh, just thinking about our picnic tomorrow and having this berry for dessert. Oh, it stopped. I wonder why. All I know is we have to get this berry back. Uh, you're right, Orange Blossom. Let's get moving. Hee! Ho! Hee! How will we get the berry back now? Yeah, what'll we do, a wise leader? Just gonna have to carry it back, I guess. Oh, that thing must weigh at least a lot. We can do it, together. Come on, everybody, grab hold. Let's go with your legs. Okay, guys, count to three. One, two, three. <laughs> Hurry. It's getting dark. Yeah. Can't leave it way out here. Gotta get it back tonight. Right. Uh, we have a tradition to keep, you know? Take a little break. <sighs> Me too. I think we all need a rest. <sighs> we'll catch our breath, then we'll start again. Why can't we just leave it here? Yeah, just for one night. Oh, I don't think we better. Please, Strawberry. Um, it's tradition to store it at the Berry Works, right? We should keep moving, right? 
Oh, it is tradition, <laughs> but you are the very first princess, and this decision is yours to make. I know everyone is very tired. We're having the picnic here tomorrow. That's true. So we just have to bring it back. Yeah, I guess it'll be okay. Custard, do you hear that? It sounds somehow different now. Almost like something's wrong. Maybe we should go look for it to make sure it's all right. Strawberry, strawberry, strawberry! It's a disaster! Disaster, disaster! What is? What's the matter? What's wrong? Oh, come on and see. You tell me what <gasps> Oh no Is everything all right? The berry kids tell me that Oh, oh. my We've been robbed by rabbits, burgled by bunnies, and they ate almost every last berry bit. Oh, I was really looking forward to a big berry dessert this afternoon. It just won't be the Berry Fest feast without it. Yeah, it's a tradition. When the old one disappeared, a new one popped up. Somewhere, right, Berry Can Bloom? Oh, yes, uh, that's true. Quite true. Oh, right. We'll have a Wonderberry after all. Fantastic. Oh, yeah. Oh, I love it. Well, what are we waiting for? Let's go find it. I think there's something wrong with that bird. I think it needs me. I think we need you. You know, she's right. There's only about a ton of things to do around here. And since you're the Berry Fest princess this year, you're in charge of everything. You have to judge the flower show. And you need to help with the Berrykin Band concert. And there's the whole Berry Fest feast to plan. And you can't do anything till we find another Wanderberry? You're the leader. You have to decide what we do next. All right, all right. I will decide. Orange Blossom, you help the Berry Kim Band set up for their concert. Will do. Lemon Meringue, you get the flower show set up and pick the top three for me. I'm on it. Raspberry Tort, Plum Pudding, Blueberry Muffin, you'll help me get the food ready for the feast. And you, yeah. I want you to go look for the new Wanderberry, okay? Will do. do. Okay. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Forty-six and forty-seven. Right. Need about another dozen. All done with the flowers. Need any help in here? Oh, we'd love some help with the sandwiches. The fairy can dance, ready to go. Can I help you? We can use all the help we can get. You and I can work on the salad, Orange Blossom. See? We're going to be fine. As long as we work together, nothing can stop us. <gasps> Did you find the new Wanderberry? We looked everywhere. Two times. No, three. We, we couldn't, couldn't find it. And we're as sorry as can be. <sighs> oh, no. How can we possibly have the Berry Fest feast without the Wanderberry? It's almost time for the picnic. You still have to pick a winner at the flower show. And there's the band concert, too. So what are we going to do, Strawberry? What are you gonna do, Strawberry? You're the leader here. Yeah, tell us, Strawberry. Well, what's gonna happen? What'll we do? Yeah, what? I don't know! I need a minute to think by myself. Was it just me or did she seem a little stressed? Oh, I have no clue what to do. It's all just oh, too much. Oh, there it is again. 
It's coming from over there, isn't it? It sounds like it's having some real trouble. I better go check on it. Oh, but they're waiting for me back there. What should I do? Oh, it's so hard to decide. It's never easy, is it? Oh, I want to make everybody happy, but they all want something different. I can't decide who to listen to first. Oh, you'll do the right thing. Don't worry that the others might disagree with you. Just listen to your heart, Strawberry Shortcake. You have a very good one, you know. Thank you. I'll tell your friends that you need a few minutes. I know what I have to do. I have to find that bird, but... <sighs> Which way now? Do you think it sounds... Weaker? Seems like it's coming from this way. Come on, you two, let's hurry. I still hear it. It's up here somewhere, I'm sure. You can do it, Pupcake. There you go, come on now. I think we're getting closer. Oh, I don't hear it anymore. Do you? Where could it be? What is it, Custard? Oh, you found the Wanderberry. It's smaller than the other one, but it's still very beautiful. I'll be careful not to lose this one. Strawberry! about you. Didn't know you were out here finding the Wanderberry all by yourself. Lucky for us, you're the very best princess this year. Come on, let's get it back to town. In just a moment. Uh, but why not now? Because first, I have to find that bird. Do you know where it is, Pupcake? <laughs> there it is. Oh, poor little fella. Oh my, this sweet little thing. What's the matter with it? I'm not sure. Oh dear, it's all tangled up. Can you get it loose, Strawberry? I think so. There, you're free. Go on, little birdie, you fly away now. We have to get this berry back home. Uh, Strawberry? You coming? Something's still wrong. Oh, it can't fly. Why not? I don't know. Uh, maybe it, it hurt its wing. Oh, we better leave it here and, and get a doctor. Or we could build a stretcher and carry it back to town. Yeah, those are very good ideas, but... What is it? Are you hungry? Uh, Strawberry? That's for the feast, remember? Let's see if it wants some. Does that make you feel better? I have some more! Oh, well, uh, uh, don't give it all. We can find some seeds or something. But this is helping. It's a very special plant. The Wanderberry is especially nutritious. If we don't get the berry back for the feast, everybody's gonna be really disappointed. Well, if they are... I'm sorry, but this is the right thing to do. I know it is. But how can you be so sure? I can't be completely sure, but I have to make what I feel is the best decision and go with it. I guess that's what being in charge is about. I've considered everybody's ideas, but now I have to do what I feel is right, even if it doesn't please everyone. You can't make a better decision than that. Is pretty, isn't it? Yeah, kind of beautiful. Here, little fella. That berry was just what it needed. I'm glad we listened to you, Strawberry. 
Otherwise, we never would have made up our minds on what to do. <laughs> That's why you're the leader, because you know how to stick with a good choice, even if it wasn't what the rest of us wanted. Thanks, guys. Strawberry! It's wonderful! What? What is it? Guess we're having a very fest feast after all. Is everybody ready for dessert? <laughs> I think there's enough to go around. But first, first, my friends, let's thank our hostess, our very fest princess, for this wonderful feast. Thank you, everybody. I'm just glad that... that... What's the matter, Strawberry? You speechless? No. Listen. That's the song it was singing the first time I heard it. No, I think it's a little different. I think this song is a song meant for you. True friends last forever, forever friends stay strong. True friends go together like melody and song. When I'm feeling blue, we smile our way through. Near or far, wherever, true friends, me and you. Special girl. to a friend of mine. Oh, I hope I'm mailing it in time. When's the birthday? Next week. Oh, it'll get there in plenty of time. Another letter! Bless you. <laughs> Thank you. Hi. <laughs> I'm afraid I've come down with a case of bumbly, wheezy, sneezy fever. <laughs> oh, dear. That's too bad. Well, I think you'd better go home until you feel better. I think that's a very good idea. Yeah, 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 but... <laughs> I did. Yeah, 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 but. Bless you! Thank you. <laughs> Quick! Turn him around! Yeah! <laughs> Now, how am I going to get the mail delivered today? Is there a problem, Postmaster? 
Well, the problem is, all my delivery bees are on vacation, which wouldn't be a problem, because they still have one left. Well, the problem is... <laughs> he's it. Oh. So, now the only one left to get the mail delivered is me. Oh, dear. But well, even that wouldn't be a problem. I can deliver the mail to Barry Betty City myself, but... But not this. What's that? Special delivery for Clement Cricket. Clear out in Acorn Acres. <laughs> Label says it's for his birthday. When's his birthday? Today. Today? Ah! Oh, no. <laughs> Here, J.D. Bug, let me help you. No, no, you should be delivering the mail. Well, I, I guess you're right. <sighs> Poor Clem. Looks like his birthday present will be late. But we can only do our very best. Wait! What if I helped you deliver this package, I mean? Well, <laughs> that's mighty kind of you, Miss Shortcake, but all the way to Acorn Acres, this is not exactly a hop, skip, and a jump, you know. Yeah, it's across the bridge way on the other side of the river. I have a scooter. I'm sure I can get it there in time. And I have the day off from the cafe, so I am at your service. <laughs> well, now, that's about the nicest thing I've heard in quite a while. Are you sure you want to give it a try? Very sure. All righty, then. <clears throat> Raise your right hand, please. Repeat after me. I, strawberry shortcake. I, strawberry shortcake. Through snow, rain, heat, or very gloomy night. Through snow, rain, heat, or very gloomy night. Do promise to do my very best to deliver the mail on time. Do promise to do my very best to deliver the mail on time. <sighs> You are now an official delivery person of the Berry Bitty City Post Office. <laughs> Strawberry! That looks great on you! Thanks, Orange. Thank you, Strawberry. This means a lot to me in the post office, and I expect to Mr. Cricket. <laughs> J.D. Bug will stamp the package and get you on your way. Okay, Jeedy Bug. Ah! Here, let me. <laughs> no, no, you should be delivering the mail. Well, I, I, I guess you're right. Here, I can help. Why? Why, thank you, Miss Shortcake. Anybody home? Right there, Plum. Well, if you can stamp this package, I'll be on my way. Oh. <laughs> right. Stamps. 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 No! Oh! <laughs> that was me. Stamps. 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 Aha! There! Do not open till Christmas? Oh, absolutely. It'd be cheating. Huh? But it's his birthday. Oops. Fragile? This end up. <laughs> Return to sender? Oh! Special delivery! Wait! How about a nice don't drop this package? Oh! Oh! Here's a sorry, doesn't live here anymore! <sighs> I've been looking for that one for months. No, thank you. Well, congratulations to our new postal carrier. Orange told me all about it. Hi, Plum. Love the hat. Do you get to keep it? No, just helping out for the day. Hiya, Pupcake. Take good care of this package, okay? It's gotta go all the way to Acorn Acres. <laughs> Acorn Acres? Way out there? Oh, can you make it in one day? Oh, it's still morning. Plenty of time. Uh, wait! Uh, who's taking care of your cafe? Mr. Longface. He's teaching a cake decorating class. S Strawberry. Lemon? What is 
is it? I've got a problem. Pupcake, you better wait here. Take care of the package, okay? <laughs> Lemon, are you okay? Uh, uh, sure, sure. What is it? Something's wrong, isn't it? Here, there's a great article on two-tone toenail polish. I would like to see how my hair looks. Oh, hold on. I used a new hair mousse, and it's not exactly working out. I'm scared she's gonna... Oh, I don't want to think what she'll do when she sees. It's too terrible to... Let me see. Okay, but please keep your cool. As always. Yeah. Okay, come on. Oh, it's coming along nicely. Wow, that's a... A hairstyle, all right. Now can I? Not yet. Lemon. I've got to deliver a package for the postmaster. I'd love to stay, but... Oh, no, 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 no. You can't leave me. Please, Strawberry, please think of something. I don't know what to do. I'd like to keep Blueberry as my friend, but when she finds out, she's gonna... Oh, and then she'll... No! Oh. Ouch! Okay, where's the bottle? Hmm. You know, I had a cake recipe that kept coming out just like that. Too hard, so I added pudding to the mix. Pudding. Try washing her hair with some vanilla pudding, then rinse it, then add stay in conditioner with a little, um, avocado oil. That should smooth it all down. Hmm, you think? Worth a try. And don't worry, Blueberry always comes around. <sighs> Thanks, Strawberry. You calmed me down. I was just so flustered I couldn't think. <laughs> You're very welcome. Post office. We do the very best we can. JD Bug speaking. <gasps> oh no. Uh, yes, sir. I'll tell her right away. Has Strawberry gone yet? Yeah. Uh, why? The postmaster just heard that the storm we had the other night. It blocked the road to Acorn Acres. She won't be able to get through. <gasps> oh no! the road, it'd take us too long. Oh, I think the only thing to do is keep going without the scooter. to Rosevale, Brookville, um, and that must be the way to Acorn Acres. Great. <sighs> now which way should I go? Uh, I keep telling them they 
should fix this huh? thing. But do they listen? Because you didn't ask nice. What do you know about nice? Uh, nice is my middle name. Uh, no, it um, isn't. Excuse uh -huh. me. Is. Um, is not. Is Okay, what is my middle name then? Ladybird. <laughs> Your name's Sadie Bug, Ladybird, Fairy Beetle. <gasps> How did you know that? Um, girls? Cause maybe I've known you all your life and I'm your twin sister. My luck. If someone had asked me, I would have picked a different twin sister. Me too. Or, or, or I'd pick triplets. But none of them would have been you. <gasps> uh, hello? <laughs> Well, don't just stand there. We need your help. You certainly aren't talking to me, are you? We most very certainly are. Certainly for certain. Oh, well, what can I help you with? Can't you see? Sorry, but, um, you're gonna have to tell me. Let's make her guess. Silly, stop fooling around. This is serious. Well, I have a serious, uh, thing, too. And, oh, can you tell me how to get to Acorn Acres? <gasps> We've lost our picnic! <laughs> what? <laughs> it grew away from us. <laughs> grew? Uh, away? And we're really hungry. <laughs> I'm hungrier. I said it first. <laughs> Doesn't mean you were hungrier first. Girls, please. Please explain. How did your picnic grow away? Well, we were looking for a place to have our picnic. And I had some great ideas, but she wouldn't listen. Because my ideas were best. And while you were uh, discussing, the flower grew up where you left your picnic things? And now our picnic is up there. And we're down here. And I'm hungry. I'm hungrier. I am. Come on. We better get your things before they grow away any further. No way. You're going to help us? Of course. But we need to be quick. That is so nice of you. Almost there. Steady, steady. Now lower. Watch out, Pupcake. <sighs> there. Oh. Hey, that's mine. Nah, -uh. I made it. You made it for me. Okay, then what did you make for me? <gasps> Don't spill that. <laughs> I can't open this. Give it to me, then. With your shaky hands? <laughs> I think not. <sighs> Come on, Pupcake. I guess the only thing we can do is try one of these roads. Where are you going? Yeah, don't you want to join us? It's a picnic for two, but you could share some of hers. Oh, thank you, but I have to deliver a package to Clem Cricket. If only I knew how to get there. Oh, right. It's his birthday. Yup. Too bad he didn't have a party. Maybe he didn't invite us. Why would someone not invite me? How did you know it was his birthday? He's a friend of ours. Yep. Lives right up the road, right up there. This road? Uh, no, that one. Mm, that one. That way, to the river. Oh, yeah, you're right. I am? Yep. Just follow it to the river, go across the bridge, over the next hill, and you'll be right there. Oh, thank you. Anytime. Sure thing. Hear that, Pupcake? Huh? <gasps> it sounds like a river. Look, Pupcake, the bridge. Come on. On the other side is Acorn Acres. We're almost there. Oh, we're gonna make it in time.
Where'd your delivery go in Acorn Acres? I couldn't get there. The road was blocked. The bridge was out. Oh, Strawberry. Listen, I have to go tell the postmaster what happened. Okay. Is there anything I can do to help? I wish there was. I just... don't know what it would be. Hey, your hair looks really nice. Your idea really worked. Thank you. And the avocado oil? My hair's never been so shiny. I love it. <laughs> I'm glad. What a day! <laughs> but everything got delivered. I'm sorry to say not everything. I'm very sorry. I tried. I got as far as the bridge, but it was out. Yeah, I'd heard about it after you'd gone. Too late to stop you, I'm afraid. It's quite a thing you did getting that far. But I didn't deliver the package. The mail didn't get through. Oh, and I promised it would. Actually, you promised to do the very best that you could. And you did that. You see, there are times when things happen that are out of our control. The only thing we can do is the best we can. I'll call the post office in Big Bitty City. See if we can bring in some help. Maybe take the back road through Oak Tree Meadows and get to Acorn Acres that way. Will they get here in time? Well, we can only do our very best. I just wish I could have delivered it. Maybe you still can, Strawberry. What's all this? I, um, sort of spread the word that you needed help. You always help us when we need it, so we decided to help you. Here in Very Bitty City, we always try to help each other get the job done. We all put our heads together and came up with an idea to help you deliver the package. Oh, thank you, everyone. What idea? <laughs> Cupcake? <laughs> Cupcake, where are you? <clears throat> huh? <laughs> Do you need a bridge now? I think this is perfect. Thank you, everybody. Da <laughs> Miss Shortcake. Oh. <laughs> Ready. <laughs> Hang on, Pupcake. <laughs> Delivery for Clem Cricket. <laughs> That's me. This is for you and happy birthday. Oh. <laughs> Let's make this dog park sparkle. Put a little muscle in it. Scrub them good. Let's make them say... Barricade Ed! Barricade Earl! You have work to do. Remember the Barricade Code? 
American never shirks his work. Uh, yes, sir, boss, sir. Uh, we're on the job. We gotta sneak out of here so we can get to work on <laughs> Project You Know What. Well, sure I know. Project Berry Top Secret. <laughs> Don't say it. Don't even mention its name. <laughs> Come on. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, no. This is a tablecloth, <laughs> not a toy. Hello? Hey, Huck. How's everything at Berry Big City? Oh, fine. Great. Uh, I got the invitation for the party tomorrow. It's a masquerade ball in honor of the grand opening of the dog park that you helped us build. You know, costumes, music, dancing. It's gonna be fun. See? That's just it, uh, dancing's just not my thing, you know? I appreciate it, but... But I'm sure you'd have a great time once you were here. Dancing? I can't do that. You wouldn't have to, Huck. I'd make sure nobody asked you. I'd stay by your side every minute. Every minute? Not every other minute? <laughs> you couldn't get rid of me if you wanted. Okay. If you promise. Promise. See you tomorrow, 7 o'clock. He'll be here. Oh, no! Scouty! The girls worked super hard on those decorations. And you ruined it. Hold on a minute. I don't think it was Scouty's fault. Hannah? Looks like you guys jumped to a wrong conclusion. We're so sorry, Blueberry. We're sorry, Scouty. Oh, that's okay. Let's clean this up so we can finish decorating. A few details to finish up tomorrow, and we're done. I hope so. I still have to get my dress ready. Let's get a good night's sleep and meet at the cafe in the morning. You coming, Blueberry? Oh, I'm right behind you. Decorations are up. Check. I've started the food. I'll bring some dog treats from the store. Check. Do you need any help with the music, Cherry? All taken care of. Blueberry was going to print some welcome signs. I wonder where she is. I have some extra masks at my boutique if anyone needs one. And if anybody wants help with their hair. Blueberry, hi. Where are you? When I woke up, I wasn't <laughs> feeling too, too, too bad. Oh, Blueberry. It's just a little <laughs> cold, but I can't make it. <laughs> Good night. Well, don't worry about the party. You just get better. I promised Huck I'd be there. I said I'd be with him the whole time. He'll be fine. We'll make sure. Now, get back to bed. Can I bring you anything? Thanks, Strawberry. I'm okay. Poor kid. That's too bad. It's worse than bad. It's awful. I know she was really just so, so looking forward to it. Well, you know Blueberry. She's mostly worried about how Huck will feel. There has to be some way I can help. I have to do something. I know what to do. <laughs> Raspberry has that box of extra gowns. I can go to the masquerade party as Blueberry. Oh, Hannah, isn't that an absolutely super idea? I'll get one of the blue gowns and wear a blue wig. Oh, Huck will never know I'm not her. Come on, Hannah. I have a lot of work to do. Hmm. There has to be something I can... Of course. Blueberry can't go to the party, but I can go to the party for her. I'll wear a blue gown and a blue wig. 
and no one will ever know. Careful, Earl, careful. You know what's in this thing? Sure, Project Very Top Secret. Shh! If somebody hears, it won't be secret anymore, will it? Uh, oh, yeah. Mm -hmm. Blueberry, how are you feeling? Uh, achoo! I felt achoo! Worst, but I... Achoo! I can't remember when. This should help. A fresh brewed batch of Be Better Berry Tea. Drink some and you'll be berry better very soon. Always works for me. Did you hear that, Scouty? Wait, listen. There, hear it? I'm not sneezing. <laughs> Strawberry's tea really did work. I can go to the party and Huck won't be alone after all. There isn't much time. I have to get ready. Won't everyone be surprised to see me? Now, the final touch. Super! Hannah! Come on, girl! I'm right here. If my own dog doesn't know me, no one will! If I didn't know I was me, I'd think I was her! Chiffon, it's time! <gasps> Don't be scared, sweetie. <laughs> I'm still me. You look great! Thanks! You too! Both of you! Is Huck here? I haven't seen him yet. I need to tell him about Blueberry as soon as he gets here. you made it. Have you seen him? Not yet. You still sound a little funny. You're sure you're okay? Oh! <coughs> I'm doing super. Just a little... <coughs> Cough. Better get some of that tea. <laughs> okay, Chiffon. Wish me luck. How's your cough, Blueberry? Cough? It's... It's much, much better, thank you. Oh my gosh, you have laryngitis. Don't talk, it'll strain your throat. Good idea. Seen Huck? Still not here. You seem different somehow. Are you sure you're all right? Never mind, don't talk. But could you tell me, just nod yes or no, have you seen Lemon anywhere? She isn't here. Oh, neither is Raspberry. I'll go get her. I mean, I'll go get her. A party without raspberry is like, um, a bookstore without books. I thought you were looking for raspberry. Oh, I was looking for tea, remember? Wow, your voice is better. How did that happen? Oh, uh, yes, well, um, mystery novel lover that I am, huh, it's a mystery. <laughs> Hey! I just realized I haven't seen Lemon. I'll go see where she is. Uh-oh. Strawberry, is he here? Have you seen him? Oh, there he is. Super party, don't you think? I'm not sure. 
sure, but it seems like something strange is going on. Strange? Strange? What? Um, why do you say that? I don't know. I can't quite put my finger on it. Say, have you seen Raspberry? Here I am! Didn't think I'd miss this, did you? What's a party without me? Kind of like a book without a... Uh, never mind. I heard Huck's here. Have you seen him? Huck? Huck? Excuse me! Strawberry? Guess who? It is I, Barrick and Bruce. How do you like my disguise? It's, um... It's... it's great! Excuse me, just a moment. I have to... figure something out. Certainly. Plum? Guess who? I'm really glad you made it, Huck. Thanks. This does look like fun. It is! Want something to eat? Sure. When I saw how great the park looked, it made me think, what a cool place to set a mystery story. Like maybe a jewel heist at the masquerade ball mystery. Huck, that's terrific! You want to work on it together? Definitely. Let me get a pad of paper and we'll write down some ideas. Hey, whoa, hold on, Blueberry. You promised you wouldn't leave me alone, remember? Here, sit, eat. That way you won't have to dance with anybody. But... <laughs> Guess who? Ed and Earl? Those guys are supposed to be making sure the lanterns don't run out of sparkleberry juice. If they're shirking their work... So, here you are! <laughs> Stefan, you can't have this. Uh, go find raspberry! Hey, I brought you a piece of raspberry tort. Made it myself. Uh, thanks. Now, let's get to work on our story. Get to work. Story? Oh, our story! Later, later. This is a party! <laughs> Who wants to work at a party? <laughs> but you said... Hey, wanna dance? <laughs> What's so funny? <laughs> Wait a minute. You're not kidding? Kidding? Uh, no. No? Why would you ask me to dance? How could you ask me to dance? The only reason I agreed to come to this shindig is that you promised that I wouldn't have to... Excuse me, guys. Has anybody seen Raspberry? Well, you're looking right at... Oh, I mean... Well, uh, I mean, not me. I mean, no, yes, I mean... Oh, Raspberry, of course, because I'm Blueberry. I'm a Blueberry. But if it's Raspberry you're looking for, then, uh, that's not me. So, but... I bet I can find her for you. Raspberry, that is, that I can do, even though I'm Blueberry. Is it just me, or is everybody acting strange tonight? I don't think they're acting. Huck, there you are. Where'd you think I was? Look what I brought, lemon meringue pie. Made it myself. Boy, you've sure been baking. And please, don't ask me to dance. Yeah, why would I? <sighs> Well, that's more like it. Not when you're so hungry. Right. But let me know when you've had enough dessert, and then we'll hit the dance floor. <laughs> you really know how to milk a joke. <laughs> What's that supposed to mean? Nothing. Listen, while you were gone, I got an idea. About what? About how to pull off the jewel robbery. Hmm. Jewel robbery? The way I see it, a jewel robbery is a natural for a masquerade ball like this. Uh, it is? I figure, with this crowd and all the noise, everybody in costume, it'd be easy to steal the jewels. Nobody's gonna know who did it. Jewels, sure, if you say so. Terrific, Blueberry. Then we're on the same page, so to speak. <laughs> about the jewel heist idea? <gasps> Princess American. He's going to steal her tiara. So, you sure you like my idea? You don't seem very excited. Um, well, I'm Blueberry, and I always like your ideas, right? So, yeah, I love it. 
Now, here's where I really need your help, because you're always so clever at figuring out this part, Blueberry. How do we pull off the getaway? <gasps> getaway? Um, yeah, that's a good idea. I, um, uh, let me get right back to you on that. I think I need tea. My <coughs> cough's coming back. Excuse me. Don't you want to work on the story? Uh, not just this minute, no. How about some shortcake, Huck? Made it myself. Princess, where's the princess? <gasps> so, you know the drill. Sure, I memorized Project Top Berry Secret forwards and backwards. Shh, you mean backwards and forwards? Uh huh, that too. No one's gonna see it coming. <laughs> They'll never suspect. <gasps> An inside job. Come on, we gotta set up the last fuses. I caught ya! How'd they get away? Well, I'm ready. For what? To talk about the story. You said you didn't want to. What? I never said that. You did too. I heard you with my own ears. Just like I heard you ask me if I wanted to dance. What? I never would have asked you to. Twice. You sat right there and said, Whoa! Maybe you heard what you wanted to hear. Maybe you're just looking for an excuse to go. Maybe I am. Well then, go. Well, all right then, I will. I'm going. Wait, I'm going first. Where are you going? I'm... Hey! What? What's going on? I have captured a criminal mastermind. Huckleberry? Uh, he was planning to steal the princess's jewels. I stopped him just in time and foiled a grand conspiracy between this villain and... that one. Blueberry? Or... Uh, I mean... Uh, that one. Blueberry? What's going on here? Which blueberry is Blueberry? Uh, I am! Would you mind removing your masks? I can't. I'm too embarrassed. I think I know how to settle this. Scouty, will you help me, please? Go on, boy. Go to Blueberry. Blueberry, are you all right? Huck said some very mean things to me. None of them made sense. He's not being himself at all. <sighs> He's not the only one. What's this? Who are you? Uh, you? You can't be her. I'm her. Well, if you're her, who's she? Why don't we all take off our masks? Raspberry? Lemon? Blueberry? What are you doing here? Why are you pretending to be me? Well, I thought you were at home sick, and I knew you were worried about Huck being at the party alone, so... Me too! I didn't know she was, and I thought he would be, and so I... But then you... Oh, I'm sorry. <sighs> then it must be Barrick and Ed and Earl who are stealing the jewels. Nobody's stealing any jewels. I was talking about a mystery story with Blueberry. Or somebody. But, but, uh, I heard Earl talking about Project Berry Top Secret. Uh, it seems like we've all been jumping to conclusions. Ed, Earl, could you come here, please? Aha! Uh -huh. You two! Project Berry Top Secret? Did you guys take care of it? You'll spoil your own surprise, Strawberry. You're in on it too, Strawberry. Oh, the shame of it. <laughs> We're ready to go. Press the button, Earl. Well done, Ed and Earl. Well done.
for the mail. Marketplace all closed up? Yep, I did all the stuff you asked. Great, thank you. Guess we're all set to go as soon as the girls get here. Oh, I'm so excited to show you and Sweet and Sour how beautiful our countryside is. Your guys' first Berry Bitty City annual camp out. Uh, Strop, I think I've been on a few campouts in my day. <laughs> I know you have, Apple, but this is your first one with me. And that's very special to me. Oh, yeah, me too. What you got there? This is the perfect opportunity for me to film a camping video. I'm going to set up a link on my very best bits page. So, like a travel log? My night in the wilderness? Hmm, not exactly. More like Apple's step-by-step -step guide on how to set up camp the right and proper Apple way. Sounds like a big project. No task is too big when it comes to teaching the world the science of camping in the outdoors. Sounds great, but you know, this camp out is for fun and friends, not work. So I hope you won't be too busy to have fun, too. Sour! Sweet! Are you ready? Hi, Apple. Where is everyone? I don't know if this great outdoors thing is gonna be so great. Sour, we haven't even left yet. That's the best time to rethink going somewhere. That's a sweet camera, Apple. <laughs> sweet, get it? <laughs> <laughs> that does look pretty pro. Shooting a big movie? Camping tutorial. Oh, wow, great idea. A movie all about us? Oh, a video of our camp out? Uh, no, actually, none of you are in it, just me. I'm gonna demonstrate in high definition, stop motion, time lapse photography how to set up a camp, the fine points of how to properly pitch a tent, the do's and don'ts of unrolling a sleeping bag, how to avoid the heartbreak of a cold cook stove, two hours packed with vital information every camper needs to know. Oh. Uh Two hours? And an extra half hour of exclusive bonus material. Camping tutorial, the making of. I need a cloth to clean this with. Do you have one, Strop? Sure, in the kitchen. Are we ever going? Somewhere out there is a poison ivy plant with my name on it. We're coming! Huh? Wait for us! <sighs> Sorry, we're late, Strawberry. Whew. Almost forgot the supplies Sweet asked for. No worries. So, Orange, you got marshmallows? Check. Cherry's got them in her pack. Girls, I'm so excited to make you my special s'more than s'mores recipe. It's regular s'mores, you know, graham crackers, marshmallows, and chocolate bar, with my unique twist, strawberry slices and shaved almond. Yum, says Plum. Neat, says Sweet. <laughs> Oh, nuts, says Orange. Uh, that doesn't rhyme. No, no, the almond! I think I left it on the counter in my store. I'll go with you. And chocolate milk! You can't have a campfire without hot chocolate! Plum's got it in her canteen! Perfect. We'll heat it up on our campfire, and then you all know what's next. <laughs> <laughs> what? What's next? We put the fire out? <sighs> it's one of our long-standing campout traditions. Tall tales. Tall tales? Yeah, we make up fun stories, like tales, like make-believe, and tell them around the campfire. Everyone gets a turn. The wilder, more outrageous, the better. Sounds outrageously thrilling. How about short tales, so we can get home sooner? <laughs> You're too funny, Sour. All ready. Are we good? <sighs> Almond. Got it. We're all set. Let's do it.
get there so I can start shooting. Come on, tea time. We're supposed to be relaxing and having fun. <laughs> oh, I better catch up with her. You do that. I'm going to take a little break. <sighs> Have a good See break, you Cherry. Idea. Enjoy your rest, Cherry. <sighs> now that looks like the best idea I've seen all day. Phew. You said it. Uh, guys? That isn't the chocolate milk for the hot chocolate around the campfire tonight, is it? Uh, and isn't that almond supposed to be for sweet special s'more than s'mores recipe? Uh, well, but n no one's gonna miss just one little sip. No one's gonna miss one little nibble. Well, then I'm having a marshmallow. No one will miss just one, right? <sighs> We're here. About time. Very beautiful meadow, our old campground. What a gorgeous spot. Huh? Apple, wow, you're really going to town. The first part of assembling a tent is to lay out all your equipment in a neat and orderly manner. I'm so sorry, but this is the spot where we usually build the campfire. It is? And we set up all our sleeping bags just over there. And our cooking equipment here, near the campfire. Can I help you move your... set over to the edge of the meadow? That's okay, Strawberry. I want to keep it in a certain order, so I'll do it myself. You guys go ahead. Don't mind me. in the very bitty world has happened to Orange, Cherry, and Plum. Maybe they got smart and went home. Sour. So, where's the marshmallows? I've got my stick. Let's get roasting. That's for after dinner. And we can't start dinner until we find the other girls. I'll go back down the trail and look for them, Strawberry. Thanks, sweet. I'll come with you. <gasps> Cherry! Plum! Orange! Where have you been? Are you all right? So sorry, Strawberry. A long story. You wouldn't even believe it. Try me. Well, I was just taking a little rest stop with Orange and Plum, just minding our own business, not bothering us all, when all of a sudden. <gasps> But suddenly, Orange ran out of tree! Plum and I had to think fast. She stuck a perfect ten landing. <laughs> How did you ever get the backpack back? Oh, yeah, we uh, made a trade with the bird. Orange's almond for my backpack. You mean there's not going to be any shaved almonds for my s'more than s'mores? Come on, is that what really made you late? No, it's not. <gasps> Cherry's just trying to cover up for me. The truth is, it was all my fault. It was the canteen of chocolate milk. <laughs> Like she said, we was about halfway up the trace, resting her dogs for a spell. Hey now, Plum, ain't that for strawberries, hot chocolate? We're meant to save that for around the campfire. Ah, oh, dang nabbit, y'all are right. Must be off my rocker. Then I up and recollected I'd been hankering to show the gals a new dance routine I'd been working on. Hey, 
Hey, now, looky here. Might come in handy next time we're high-stepping at a square dance. It went down a crater hole. Boy, howdy. We're in for it now. That strawberry's hot chocolate. Gotta get it back. We're with you, partner. Brisk up, gals. Here goes another. So, by gum, we clumb down into that fire hole. Hold your horses now. Where'd that canteen get to? By all rights, should be right here. <laughs> Well, there we was, down a hole without a coil. And then we heard something that made us wish we was anywhere but there. <gasps> hey, now, that canteen is iron, Buster. Come hand it over real friendly like. Wouldn't you know it? That critter was skittish as a cat in a room full of rocking chairs. Balleration. Well, now the hair's in the butter. After that varmint! Easy now, boy. Easy. Keep him in the corral. Now, don't get his dander up. I'm gonna... He's on the prod, Plum. You best step lively. And I leapt up on him. Never have you seen such a catawumpus. Yeah! Ride him, Plum! Stick to your saddle. Right in and in! Get in! tell you, it was a rip snorting ride. That varmint threw me and was about to head for the high horizon. We could see we had just as much a chance taking our loop back as catching a weasel asleep. But we made a fair shake in the end. What do you think there, partner? <laughs> <laughs> That's okay, big fella. We love you, too. <laughs> <laughs> so... No almond shavings for my s'more than s'mores? <laughs> Come on. What really made you late? Okay, okay, here's the deal. Uh, it was really, uh, well, all my fault. The truth is... I put it to you, Orange. Might that be the very almond intended for sweet s'more than s'mores recipe? What? Well, indeed it is. Oh, whatever was I thinking, I shall squirrel it away, as they say, until an appropriate occasion calls forth the necessity to bring it out in the open. Eh, hey, what? Well said, Orange. Well said. Uh -huh. <laughs> I beg your pardon? Is that polite? Cheeky fellow, eh, what? I say, fellow travellers, let's tarry no longer in this dreadful spot. Off we go! Beg pardon? Run! I must confess, I read like the very dickens. And who wouldn't, being chivied by a fiend, set on Poloning Sweet's precious almond? I believe I have a strategy that I suspect might outwit this thieving rapscallion. Have you? Do tell. <gasps> I say, old girl, capital idea. Oh, 
candlesticks. <laughs> You mean, you really did lose the omen for my s'more than s'mores? <laughs> I don't get it. What's so funny? Sweet! <laughs> Why so serious? Don't you like our tall tales? What tall tales? Wait a minute. Oh, no! Sweet, you weren't there! Wasn't where? This morning at the cafe when I explained about our tradition of telling tall tales. You went with Orange and... Oh, I'm sorry. Sweet. It's something we always do for fun around the campfire. We make up outrageous stories. Oh. <laughs> oh. <laughs> oh, my goodness. I thought all those stories were real. <laughs> nah, it's all just silly stuff. <laughs> Plum and Cherry and I will get more kindling, since we were late and couldn't help set up camp. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I'm dying to know, what really happened? What really took you so long? Oh, Strawberry, I don't know, it's, it's just too embarrassing. Come on. Well... It's like this. You see... We just stopped to take a break. Now that looks like the best idea I've seen all day. You said it. Uh, guys, that isn't the chocolate milk for the hot chocolate around the campfire tonight, is it? Uh, and isn't that almond supposed to be for sweet special s'more than s'mores recipe? Well, but n no one's gonna miss just one little sip. No one's gonna miss one little nibble. Well, then I'm having a marshmallow. No one will miss just one, right? Hey, check it! My new dance routine. are so busted. No chocolate for strawberry? No marshmallows for sweets more than s'mores? I wouldn't want to be in your shoes. We better run back to my store. <laughs> Hurry, before someone sees us. Can't find my keys. Oh, here, hold this. No marshmallows. Check inside the storeroom? You got it. I found the marshmallows in the storeroom, but I tripped and knocked the door closed, and I couldn't get it opened. Hey, get me out of here! Hold on, Plum. We'll catch you. Here. Got everything? Canteen. Marshmallows. Check. Where's the almond? Inside. On the counter. Locked. Keys. Inside. On the counter. Next to the almond. Aww. Now what do we do? We gotta get back. It's getting late and they'll be worried. Sorry, sweet. You're gonna have to do without the almond. And so, we ran back up here as fast as we could. <laughs> That's the best tall tale ever! <laughs> but unfortunately, it's true. 
thinks it's time to change the menu at the cafe. Time to fire up the flavor, notch up the nachos, spice up the spice, dial up the delish. Meaning she wants to fix something that isn't broken. Well, as I always say, it's good to find new ways of doing things. Shows you take pride in your work. Barry Can Bloom has just delivered his crop of chilies. A hybrid I call the hot and not. Crossed half a jalapeno with a sun-sweet sugar plum and a hint of mint. Been growing them for years. I sort of like them, uh, but I don't imagine anyone else will. Mmm, they look beautiful and smell great. As much as I don't like to agree with my sister, she's right. I use them to make my hot and not chili sauce. Oh, what do you think? Mmm, that is the best chili sauce ever. We have to have it at the cafe. That's twice in one day I've agreed with her. I'm starting to get worried. It's wonderful, Barrick and Bloom. What's your secret? <laughs> no secret, really. I follow three simple rules. You can't rush. Everything takes time. Never give up. There's a solution for every problem. And always add a little loving care. Any job worth doing is worth doing well. I got a text message on my phone, but it says it's for you, Barry Can Bloom. It's from... Don't, don't tell me. When it's this time of year, I know who it's from. Tell him I brought here. Left town, out of the country, not expected back for a year. Or, or ten. Wait, he sent you a video. <laughs> who is this guy? <sighs> my cousin. Bertram. Boom! Where are you, cuz? I tried every number in Berry Bitty City. This time of year, I bury my phone in the bottom of a flower pot. Hey, you didn't bury your phone in the bottom of a flower pot again, did you? Ha, you know it's that time of year. What's he talking about? Uh, the chili sauce contest at the Big Berry County Fair. Hope you're not entering the contest. You know I'll win the golden chili again. <laughs> hey, just because we're cousins, I thought I'd give you a preview. This year, I've cooked my best batch yet, using my most powerful peppers. Looky, looky. <laughs> Ready for a taste test, my little friend? I'll just give him a drip of a drop to warm up the palate, you see. Don't try this at home, eh? He's a trained professional. <laughs> Let's see you top that, cuz. <laughs> oh, sometimes he makes me so angry, I can just... just... <sighs> 
Do forgive me. Great galloping gooseberries. I've never seen him so upset. Cousin Bertram's been getting the best of me since, well, as long as I can remember. When I entered the first hot sauce contest, well, oh, he's won the golden chili every year. Oh, that is so, so wrong. Right, exactly. Oh, you don't need a gold medal to prove how good a chili sauce cook you are. Oh, thank you, my dear. But it wouldn't hurt. I mean, fine, sure, a medal isn't everything, but it's something, and that's better than nothing. And it'd be the perfect way to show up that... that... Ugh, cousin of yours! Sour's right. There's no reason you can't beat Bert. Uh, yes, but really, I... I couldn't. It just isn't my... my... my style. Style? When I was faced with making eight dozen rhubarb trifles in one night, did I say, it just isn't my style? When my souffle deflated like a flat tire, did I climb under the covers and pull the sheet over my head? No! I say, enter that contest and beat him! Yeah! <laughs> you can oh, my it. Dear. I know it. <laughs> I thank you, but really, it just isn't what I do. Maybe Barry Can Bloom should do what's comfortable for him. Of course he should. And that means he's got to win that contest. This year, the name Barry Can Bloom will mean hot sauce. Yes? Why, yes! This year is my year! To the Chili Patch! And victory! Victory! No. <laughs> That's the spirit! Don't let anything hold you back! Hmm. Barry Can Bloom? You're going to have the hottest chili sauce that ever was. With this recipe Apple and I've cooked up, you'll flambe that bully birdie once and for all. How are those new chili peppers coming along? Oh, very nearly there, my dears. I call this one the Hoppin' Poppin'. Just a drop of Bloom's very best plant food. Careful now, there, Barry. <laughs> Oh, yes. That's what we want to see. Aren't we ready for a taste test? Absolutely. Volunteers! Just try a drop, okay? Give it a moment. The Hoppin' Poppin' Chili Pepper has a delayed reaction. doesn't know it yet. Greetings, cuz! I thought you might like to see how things are going here. Behold, my latest creation! <laughs> Let's see you top that! <laughs> there's hot and there's hot and... That's hot. You'll just have to make yours even hotter. More peppers, Barry Can Bloom, the hottest you have. Ha, ha, ha. 
Hot sauce? It's rocket fuel. There's no way I could compete with him. How does he do it? Bertram? I don't know. He wins. He always wins. <sighs> There's no use going on. Wait, wait. Here, take a look at this. What am I supposed to look at? That. What is that stuff? <gasps> so that's his trick. Ooh, I should have known! That, my dear, is the hottest chili pepper in the Berry Bitty world! The Big Blue Blazer! Wow! Do you have any? Can you grow one? No, unfortunately, no. It's a very rare species. A giant chili that only grows under conditions which cannot be duplicated in a garden. Well, if Bertram got one, they gotta grow somewhere. So... Where? No one knows. It's said they need a speckle of sunlight, a dollop of dew, a whisper of wind, and a twist of morning mist. Speckle sunlight, dollop dew, wind whisper, twist mist. The meandering metal fits those conditions. Where exactly is this meandering meadow? You cross Dewdrop Dell, up Loganberry Hill, then a half a mile to the meadow. Sounds easy. If we get one of these big blue blazers, can you make it into hot sauce? Well, of course. But there's hardly time, my dear. The contest is only a day and a half away. How long would it take to get there and get back? If there's no bad weather, um, we can have it by noon tomorrow. Plenty of time. What do you say, Apple? Should we go for it? If it's a giant chili, we're gonna need some help bringing it back. I'll call Strawberry. <laughs> okay, Bloom. Have everything ready to go the second we bring the blue blazer back. Come on, Apple! Oh, it's lovely of them, but still hopeless. Bertram always finds a way to win. Are you sure this is what he wants? Absolutely. And keep his spirits up while we're gone, okay? How? I don't know. Distract him. Do that happiness thing you do. Let's go, go, go! We need to get to Loganberry Hill by nightfall. Are we ready for more? <laughs> Wonderful! But be sure to leave room for dessert. We have a fresh butterberry pie that's simply scrumptious. I understand what you're doing, my dear. And I am very grateful, but... Me? Oh, I'm just trying to feed you. And keep my mind off the contest. It's sweet of you, sweet. And it worked. I haven't thought at all about it. Oh, where are you? You know you can't hide from me. Him. Hope you're not wasting time with the contest. <laughs> you don't stand a chance. Take a look at... Thought I'd turn that off. It hardly matters, my dear. <sighs> He's right, of course. I'll never win that contest. But Bear can bloom. What is it you always say? Never give up. I do say that, don't I? And I won't give up. There's still time, still hope. If our friends get back by noon tomorrow. According to your map, we ought to be there right about... Ah! Oh! There must be something wrong! The map doesn't show this! We can't climb down there! It'd take a week! What are we gonna do? Hmm. Strawberry! I'm 
thinking about what Barry Kim Bloom says. There's a solution for every problem. Isn't this lovely? And no way for Cousin What's-His-Name to intrude. A package for me? Oh, well, thank you. <laughs> There's no hiding from me, Cuz. Can you hear it? My new batch of hot sauce simmering on the stove. The sound of victory! <laughs> Big blue blazer. <laughs> oh boy, we're having fun now. Say, want to go for a walk? No, uh -uh. why not? It's too chilly outside. <laughs> What you can do when oh, you really try. But we gotta get going. I know, Strawberry. But give us this moment to feel proud of what we've accomplished. We did it. And we did it for Berrykin Bloom. Right. But we gotta get going. After the chili! Oh, no, no, no. Well, now what do we do? <gasps> we better not go out there. We have to find a way to... My, <sighs> what a predicament you have here. But I see you found the last blue blazer of the season. Still, it's not doing my cousin much good out here. Well, you don't need to worry. We'll take care of this. Oh, no. Let me help. I insist. What are you <gasps> doing? Oh, me? Oh, my! Did I do that? No! Oh, Tisk Tisk. What a shame. I've seen some low things in my day, but you are the lowest. You don't play fair, Barry Kim Bertram. No, I play to win. <laughs> Nearly noon. I'm sure they'll be here. It was an ambitious undertaking, my dear. I'd be very surprised if... There they are! You made it! You're back! And uh, the blue blazer? It's in the bottom of a gorge. In little pieces. But... but... what happened? Barry Kim Bertram! He destroyed the blue blazer! We're so sorry, Barry Kim Bloom. There's no cause to be, my dears. You tried your best, and that's all anyone can ask. <laughs> I guess we'd better pack all this up. Yeah, we'll do it. It's the least we can do. <laughs> what is that delicious aroma? Oh, another batch of hot and not sauce. I made it while I was waiting. Isn't that good? We're adding it to the cafe's menu. Have you ever entered this in the contest? Oh, goodness, no. It's not nearly as hot as the sauce Cousin Bertie makes. But it's delicious. <laughs> and what really matters is, it's yours. You know, she's right. Mm -mm, never considered it before. Uh, but uh, why not? We don't have much time, but we can get it there if we hurry.
Well, now all we can do is wait to hear from the judges. Test yet? Uh, no, but uh, uh, no, my dear, no. I hadn't thought about it really uh, until you just mentioned it. <laughs> Put it completely out of my mind. <laughs> hey, any word from the judges? Uh, not that I care, mind you. Uh, only curious. I came by to see if you've heard anything. Not yet, but we could get a call any second. It's them. Well, what do they say? How did Barry can? Blue? Where'd he go? He had to leave. Take a message. Oh, what did they say? Chili grower. They said Barry Ken Bloom's saw showed great craftsmanship. A lot of time and effort went into it, and it was obviously made with great loving care. That's more than a sauce. It's you, Barry Ken Bloom. Really, my dear? I find myself speechless. I simply don't know what to say. Well, I do. I say get busy. Start making more hot and not sauce. We put it on our very best bits page catalog, and we're already getting orders. Oh no, not again. No, it's from the contest judges.